Okay, here's another installment of the construction of the second floor. Uh, as you can see, there is a diagonal piece coming across between the floor joists. This piece goes long, you don't get blinded by the sun, and it goes all the way across. It's half inch hot roll. And you can see there's another one. They actually make an X. This is the X bracing that will keep the platform from shifting, uh, I guess, laterally would be a good way to look at it. It gives it strength to support sideways loading and it will make it more solid. Now, the, Right now the rod is just resting in there. If you look very closely you can see that it, uh, it goes passes through a hole in each purl in it and those will all be welded up just not so much to seal them or anything else but just so that they don't make any noise if there's any movement they won't sit there and squeak across uh, metal to metal. Okay, and here's a view from the top. I'm actually standing on the floor joists looking down and um, you can see that these this piece here looks like one continuous piece of uh, purlin. It's actually a whole bunch of spacers all welded in and they're just kind of welded in uh, a little on each side. You can see camera's freaking out on I me mean, here. You can see where there's a little bit of weld and there'll be a little bit of weld on top on each end. And these were there because the purlins tend to pull when you weld them up. There's all my tools. And so in order to straighten them out, I needed spacers in there to force everything into place. It gives it a lot more rigidity as well. Um, granted, I, a lot of folks have suggested that we could just put the flooring down with plywood and the plywood would hold it and that's true to an extent but if there is any sort of uh, intense forces uh, applied to the to the floor then we'll need the spacing and we'll need the X bracing to prevent buckling and also to prevent it from being peeled apart like a can opener uh, a lot of times the floor will be just fine until some traumatic event and then you'll find out that, no, actually it wasn't strong enough. Uh, we want to make sure this one's strong enough. And here I've moved over to a different position on the floor just to give you a perspective. Uh, from, from this end, from say that corner right over here, all the way over to that corner is about, it's a little over 25 feet. And then you come across I think I misspoke before. This is approximately 13 feet from this beam to this beam, which you really, you can see it right there, that beam there. So, pretty good section of floor. And then, of course, it comes across to there. And that's another about approximately 13 feet. So we, we're really about 26 feet from this beam all the way across to the far beam. Uh, and then, if we took the distance from that corner all the way down to that corner, we're looking at 60 feet. That's a 60 foot distance. Okay, I don't have the spacers in yet, but they'll be coming soon. And also, just quickly whipping around here, uh, when it gets when we get to the point where we can live on the, on the second floor behind me, uh, we're going to knock down this building that you see right there, this little internal building, and continue the floor and continue the beams so that we'll all be solid platform there. And that's something in the future, but it's coming. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have more installments soon. Bye now.